Today, we are gonna make another one of my one-for-one one meals. One pan for one person. And this one is gonna include salmon, some broccoli florets sauteed, and a medley of cannellini beans, corn off the cob, and diced up celery. That is a lunch you can be proud to send your child to school with. Vegetables all day, every day. It's just shit in a box. I can't believe I'm in your kitchen. Voila. We did it. Tequila all the way. The first thing I want to do is get these florets chopped up and in the pan with some olive oil because I think they're the thing that takes the longest to cook, believe it or not. I don't like my broccoli when it's really, really firm. I don't like it mushy either, but I like it just in between, so I want to get it on first. So I am going to chop this down fairly small. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna put our pan on medium heat. We're gonna get a few tablespoons of olive oil in there. And I'm gonna throw that broccoli in, get it sauteing, first thing. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper on there. And then while I'm waiting for that to be cooking, you want to take the husk off of your corn. I usually flatten out the bottom, make it easier to cut down the kernels. And I try to do it gently so they don't go everywhere, but of course they still go everywhere. And if you're gonna use fresh corn, which is a great idea, try to make sure that you're getting organic corn. And then a little celery. Actually, I want it to be really fine. I can hear the broccoli starting to saute in the hot oil. I love that sound. So I've got my celery and my corn prepped. I don't eat, these are just canned um, white beans, cannellini beans, and I'm using about half of a can. So I have my broccoli sauteing, I've got my corn off the cob and my chopped celery and my cannellini beans ready to go, and now I am going to treat my salmon. One of my favorite things about this dish, and all of my friends have come to love that I do this, is not only do I cook the salmon, but I remove the skin and I make a salmon skin crisp, which is like a cracker. And to be honest, it's my favorite part of the whole dinner. In fact, I kind of want to figure out how to turn them into a version of potato chips and put them in a bag because they're insane. So to do that, I am going to put some pepper and some salt on the skin side of the fish and then I'm gonna make some room in my pan, put a little more oil and I'm gonna put the skin side down of my salmon. So right away that skin side is starting to sizzle sizzle. And now I'm gonna go ahead and season uh, the other side of the salmon with a little salt and pepper. So now I'm just sort of babying this meal and watching it. I'm gonna guess that this skin side down with the salmon is probably gonna be about three minutes. And then what's gonna happen is this, when I turn it over, the skin should have kind of lifted off of the salmon a little bit, and hopefully I'll be able to peel away the skin from the side of the salmon. I'll show you what I'm doing. So I'm gonna turn the whole piece, and you can see that the, the skin is sort of starting to get a little bit puffed up. So I'm gonna get in here 
with my tongs and I'm trying to remove the skin and sort of peel it back in one strip. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. And I'm gonna leave the salmon cooking the way it is for like another couple of minutes and then I'm gonna flip it over again. Okay, so I'm checking my salmon. Oh, and that's exactly what I want that to look like, this beautiful sort of caramelized color. But now that I've taken the skin off the other side, I want to do one more time on that back side so that I get that caramelized color on that side too. All right, so now I'm going to check again and see if I've gotten any color. And I've gotten a little color. I like that. I like the way that's looking. I actually like to sort of do this to all sides of the salmon. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it onto its side, if I can. There we go. I just hold it there for maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds. And I'll flip my broccoli around a little while I'm waiting. I like the way the broccoli is getting this like sort of burned, like brownie thing. I think that's a really, really yummy flavor. Okay, so I got that seared. I'm gonna turn it over the other side. I'm gonna move that off to the side. And now comes our salmon skin. So my one side of my salmon skin is already seasoned, but since I removed it, I'm gonna go ahead and season the inside of the salmon skin a little bit also. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put the inside of the skin facing down. Now, there's a lot of fat in here, so, and this is a very hot skillet, so it's liable to, to the oils or, you know, to blow up at you, so be careful. You might hear some popping, and the oil might pop, sort of like with popcorn. It's definitely sizzling away. Can you see that? Can you see it? You can sort of start to tell if your salmon skin is ready by how stiff it is. Um, you don't, you want it to be, oh, there it went. There it just popped a little bit. That means it's getting to that fat and heating it up and burning it off. Because um, you want it to be a crisp. This is going to be like a cracker. You don't want it to be drooping over. So many things are coming to my mind. <laughs> I have got to get my mind out of the gutter, Hatcher. Oh my gosh. So you can see it's also kind of getting that caramelized color, but I don't think it's quite done yet. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of water just to my, just to the top of my broccoli. I don't wanna get water mixing with the oil or the fish or the skin, but I just want, um, I just want to make sure that broccoli has enough moisture to soften up. A couple of drops. Just going to kind of steam on that side of the pan. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this broccoli off and let it rest on my plate. And for my salmon skin, I'm gonna rest it on a paper towel. Then our last part of the meal is we're gonna take our cannellini beans. And we're gonna get our corn and our celery. Add a little more olive oil to that. And a pinch of red pepper. And then that whole thing is gonna go in the oven at 350 for about five minutes. All right, it's time to pull the salmon out of the oven. That looks so 
Beautiful. Now we want to let our salmon rest like all meats. So we're going to put that aside on our plate. We're going to use that time while the salmon is resting to just finish off our little corn, bean, celery medley and give that corn a chance to get nice and browned. Now I like to put the corn on the bottom of the salmon. It's important to plate yourself a pretty meal. Although I actually feel like this turned out to be a lot of food. <laughs> And then, pièce de résistance, the salmon cracker chip, right on top. And there you have it, dinner for moi. I hope you enjoy this meal as much as I do. Oh my gosh, that is a bite I dream about. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>